So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to your Steam library, then you want to find Elden Ring. You want to right click on it, and then click on properties. Then you want to click on installed files, and then you want to click on verify integrity of game files. Now once you've done that, you want to click on general, and then under launch options, you want to type in dash full screen. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search, and then type in file explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on this PC, then you want to find we have Elden Ring installed. So for me, it's on my C drive, program files 86. Scroll down, Steam, scroll down again, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring. Then you want to find the Elden Ring.exe file, the game itself. You want to right click on it, and then click on Properties, and then you want to click on the Compatibility tab. Then you want to tick Disable Full Screen Optimizations, and then click on OK. For the next step, you want to head over to Search, and then type in Display Settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down. And then make sure you're using your monitor's native resolution next to display settings. So this one's mine right here. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do all the updates that your computer may have. Now for the last step, you want to make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and it comes with GeForce Experience. You might have an MD graphics card, you want to download the software that comes with that. Then you want to head over to the drivers tab and then click on check for updates and make sure that you have the latest graphics card driver installed. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 